Dear participants, it is my great pleasure and honor to send my greetings from the Ministry of Education and Culture of Finland to Indian students, researchers and experts living in Finland. I'm very happy to know that we have such an active and highly educated and skilled Indian community in our country. We all know how much our biggest companies like Nokia have benefited from the involvement of Indian experts and how trusted and valued members Indian talents have been in our innovation ecosystem. Equally happy I am to note that Finland and India have long-standing and excellent ties highlighted by the fact that this year we are celebrating the 72nd anniversary of diplomatic relations between our countries. The most recent indication of the warm relationship between our countries was the virtual meeting of the Prime Ministers Sanna Marin and Narendra Modi on March 16th. I've learned that this meeting was very widely reported and highlighted in Indian news media. Particularly happy I was to note how strongly the key sectors of my own ministry, namely education and science, were represented in the dialogue between the premiers. In the future, Finland and India will be investing in joint research and development and will jointly be finding solutions to global challenges. And what, would, and what could be a better way to tackle the future challenges than, than to promote quality education and research and to focus on decisive future technologies like 6G, artificial intelligence and quantum computing and was pinpointing on our premieres. We also jointly working on clean energy and sustainability. We aim at fostering ways to value management and seeking ways to co-create clean water and clean air research and technologies. This all means that cooperation between Finnish and Indian universities and companies is starting to flourish, creating a plenty of new career and project opportunities for researchers and experts in both countries. Ladies and gentlemen, in India and Finland have always enjoyed warm and long-standing bilateral relations. While India is one of the top five trade partners for Finland in South and Southeast Asia, Finland's ranking has been consistently progressing amongst India's EU trade partners. To support this work, we have a strong Team Finland presence in India, which includes the Embassy, Business Finland, Finland Chamber of Commerce in India and our honorary consuls. India and Finland have strengthened their relationship in the last decade with the annual bilateral trade of goods and services between the two countries crossing 2.1 billion euros. Despite of this positive trend, our trade figures are clearly below the potential. In the beginning of the millennium, there were around 30 Finnish companies operating in the country, whereas today over 120 Finnish companies have operations in India, having set up manufacturing facilities, service centers, research and development centers, sales and marketing offices, generating employment in India. However, these figures are very modest compared to corresponding figures in our trade, for example, with China. Many of the top Finnish enterprises are operating in India, including Nokia, Kone, Huhtamäki, Metso, Autotec, Wärtsilä, Karkotec, Kone Cranes, Fortum and many more. So several large Indian companies such as TCS, Infosys, Vibra, Matheson, Sumi Systems and Mahindra have invested in active operations in Finland to the tune of more than 1 billion US dollars. Knowledge transfer between companies and universities is a key factor in innovation and economic success. There is strong collaboration between Finnish industries, research institutes, universities and the government with a proven track record of delivering new technologies and innovative design. Finland 
is also a trusted research and development location and offers an excellent R&D and testing environment for new products, production methods, processes or technologies. Indian companies can take advantage of a competent and experienced workforce, Finnish innovation capa uh, capabilities and a world-class R&D and startup ecosystem by investing and setting up their businesses in Finland. Key sectors that provide significant advantage to foreign investors are ICT, where Finland is known for its IA, cybersecurity, quantum computing, gaming, connected mobility and wireless con connectivity capabilities. Finnish companies have always been at the global forefront in clean technologies, amongst other focusing on a biocircular economy, including renewable energy. And Finland has very ambitious climate targets. By 2030, we are committed to increase the share of renewable energy above 50%. Finland aims that at being the world's, world's first fossil-free welfare state and carbon neutral by uh, 2035. Dear participants, digitalization is one of the major trends changing the society and business. Rapid technological advances, international competition and climate change are challenging the world in a new way. However, digitalization also provides us with tools and solutions for tackling these new challenges. The current Finnish government program, which was launched in uh, 2019, has outlined a socially, economically and ecologically sustainable society as our priority. We are all looking at the possibilities that artificial intelligence and other emerging technologies and digital platforms can provide for businesses and for the well-being of our citizens. There is increasing market potential for circular and climate-friendly solutions based on digital technologies and particularly better utilization of data. We have to aim at building a human-centric data economy. We need to respond to the digital transformation in a fair and just way that enhances citizens' trust in digital solutions data security and responsible handling of data. Promoting digital skills among the whole population, also the elderly, is of utmost importance to ensure extensive use of digital technologies. Both in Finland and India, innovation plays an important role as an engine for renewal and productivity. The Finnish innovation policy wants to create an environment that encourages enterprises to develop innovations, renewal and international growth. We have a target of increasing Finland's expenditure to GDP ratio for research, development and innovation to 4% by 2030. Our government wants to ensure that Finland is the best innovation and business environment for companies seeking to develop innovative product products services and solutions. Promoting ecosystem that will boost the competitive strength of companies and all stakeholders is essential for enhancing innovations. Ecosystems also play an increasingly important role in innovations and value creation in platform economy. Therefore, we need data intensive and strategically managed platforms and ecosystems in various individual business sectors, but increasingly also those that operate across sectors. Dear attendees, we live an interconnected world where isolation and protectionism are not the way to solve the challenges around us. We need more international collaboration and co-creation to develop better solutions for the future. We need our international community to meet this challenge. And I'm proud and happy that we have such a vibrant community of Indian students and experts in our country. I sincerely hope that you all could stay here and find your way to contribute to the global good as well as keep yourselves and your closest ones safe and happy. 
Finland has an aging population and we need your expertise and skills to meet the challenges and competition that we are facing in the global scheme. You can also be enriched in connecting your cultural understanding to Finnish expertise in order to create something new and exciting, maybe not only to Finland, but also to Indian and global markets. The government has well recognized the challenges of foreign students in finding job opportunities in Finland. In fact, a national working group has been set to seek solutions to improve future possibilities of students and experts living in Finland. Our higher education institutes are already relatively international and the research community operates fully in English. But we need more multinational culture in our smaller companies as well. Let me also remind you that um, Finland is an attractive place to do business and has been ranked as the seventh best business environment globally. The booming startup ecosystem has access to funding and services that can boost the initial, initial steps of growth and ensure successful exit. Finland has the biggest number of digital startups per capita in the world. Every year the startup world gathers at Slush here in Finland. Slush is the second largest startup event in the world and the event to discover and meet the Nordic technology scheme. Finland has the second most skilled workforce in the world, according to the World Economic Forum's Global Competitiveness Report. Finland's workforce is well educated and known for its high level of productivity and commitment. This is a helpful fact for those who are seeking for skilled employees for their businesses. Moreover, in international comparison, Finland's labor costs are competitive in relation to the employer's level of education and experience, and thus to the quality and quantity of output. Finland provides many opportunities for foreign investors and for those who are planning to establish businesses here. There is professional guidance provided by Business Finland and regional development agencies to find suitable new opportunities. Ladies and gentlemen, 2021 is a year of strengthening Finland-India cooperation in education and research. Before summer, we will organize a high-level dialogue on education between Finland and India, focusing on higher education as well as the earlier school years. Two global pilots related to India are funded by my ministry. One to support collaboration between Finnish universities and the IIT network and the other to jointly develop future relevant and inclusive learning solutions to the needs of young generations. We see enormous further potential for cooperation in digitalization and sustainable growth and for increasing even closer people to people to people links. You are the key experts in creating new opportunities between Finland and India. I wish you all the best success in your career development in Finland.